Welcome to a lesson on determining the perpendicular bisector of a segment on the coordinate plane. Here we see a red perpendicular bisector of the blue segment on the coordinate plane. Remember that tells us two things. First, this red line cuts a segment into two congruent segments, or two segments that have the same length. So this segment here is the same length as this segment here. And the second thing is that the intersection of the line and the segment form a right angle. So this angle right here is a right angle and therefore measures 90 degrees. And in fact, all four of these angles would be right angles. So the goal of this video is to determine the equation of this red perpendicular bisector given a segment on the coordinate plane. So in order to do this, there are two main things that we have to do. Number one, if we determine the midpoint of the segment, Notice that it'll give us one point on the perpendicular bisector. And the second thing to remember is that if two lines are perpendicular, their slopes are negative reciprocals. Notice how the slope of this blue segment is positive one, and the slope of the perpendicular bisector is negative one. They're negative reciprocals of one another, and their product is also equal to negative one. Let's go and take a look at an example. So here we want to determine the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the given segment. Let's start by determining the coordinates of the endpoints of the given segment. This point here would be negative three, negative four. This point here would be five, zero. So the first step is going to be to determine the midpoint of the given segment. Remember that's going to give us one point on the perpendicular bisector. So to determine the x-coordinate of the midpoint, we sum the x-coordinates and then divide by two. So we'll have negative three plus five divided by two. Then to determine the y-coordinate of the midpoint, we add the y-coordinates and divide by two. So the x-coordinate of the midpoint is gonna be negative three plus five, that's two, divided by two, that's positive one. And here we have negative four divided by two, that's negative two. The next thing we have to do is determine the slope of the segment because the slope of the line is going to be the negative reciprocal. So the slope of the segment, we can either use the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, or we could try to pick two convenient points on the coordinate plane. I'm going to go ahead and review the formula. So it's y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So let's call these the ones and these the twos. So we'll have zero minus negative four over five minus negative three. So we'll have positive four over positive eight. So the slope of the segment is equal to positive one half. So the perpendicular bisector of this segment is going to pass through the point one negative two and the slope of the perpendicular bisector is going to be the negative reciprocal of one half. So if we flip this over and change the sign, we'll have negative two over one, or just negative two. So now we'll determine the equation of this line. Remember to find the equation of a line given the slope and a point, we can either use the sloped intercept form or we can use the point slope form of a line. Let's go ahead and use the point slope form of a line. So if we do this, our slope m is negative two, x1 is positive one, and y1 is equal to negative two. So we're gonna have y minus y1, that's minus negative two, must equal the slope negative two times x minus x1. So now we'll go ahead and solve this for y to put it in sloped intercept form. So we'll have y plus two equals negative two x plus two, now if we subtract two on both sides, we have y equals negative two x, so we have a slope of negative two, and our y-intercept would be zero. Let's go ahead and graph that and see if it is the perpendicular bisector. Well, we have a y-intercept of zero, and a slope of negative two. To graph it, we probably put negative two over one, so if we go down two and write one, Notice we're at the midpoint, one negative two of the segment. So this does bisect it. And that line does form a right angle 
with the blue segment. So that is the equation of the perpendicular bisector, y equals negative 2x. I hope you found this example helpful.